Another week, another animal. Sorry for missing last week, but our Wi-Fi went down from Monday to Wednesday, which is annoying to say the least. This week's animal is the Spirula, a cephalopod from the deep ocean with the ability to emit a strange green light from the tip of its amazingly shaped mantle. Some could say that their mantle actually makes the Spirula look like some kind of alien burrito. These cephalopods live in a place called the ocean, specifically around the tropical and subtropical regions of said ocean. We can tell they mostly live in these areas by the amount of their shells that wash up around places like the Canary Islands and South Africa. Some of these shells have been found in temperate areas like New Zealand, but it is thought they were just brought there by currents, not from sprudas actually living there. Within the oceans, they like to live around 1000 metres down during the day, but will go up as far as 100 to 300 metres at night, putting them mainly in the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones of the ocean. The reason for the sprudas change in depth at night is to do with hunting. They hunt nocturnally and feed on small fish and crustaceans, and so need to go close to the surface to find these prey items. Just like most cephalopods, Sprula has a beak and tentacles which will grab onto prey and funnel them into the beak, a rather common hunting method. It is thought that Sprulas live for around 1.5 years, though due to being deep sea dwelling creatures and being hard to study, this may be incorrect. Again, due to the difficulty of studying these creatures, we don't know much about their mating practices, but we can assume from how other cephalopods mate that Sprulas follow a similar method of the male using a specialised tentacle to transfer the sperm to the female, but again, this is all speculation. Now on to the more interesting parts of Sprula. Firstly is ammonite shaped organ. It is used for buoyancy and keeps the cephalopod in a face down position. Interestingly, this kind of face down position is very important for seafloor dwelling creatures, and yet Sprula does not live at that depth, suggesting that its ancestors did. Another interesting thing about this organ, other than being shaped like an ammonite, is that it is mineralized, meaning it's hard like a shell. Only two other extinct species have a mineralized buoyancy organ, Nautilus and Cuttlefish. The second interesting adaptation that Sprulas have is the ability to emit light. On the very tip of their shells is a sort of button-like structure that has photophores on it. These photophores can emit a green light, but the exact purpose of this light is unclear. Of course, some have made the guess that it may be for attracting prey, or attracting a mate, or perhaps evading predators. These are all plausible, but we can't be entirely sure what it's used for. Obviously this animal is a cephalopod. Cephalopods are thought to have first evolved in the late Cambrian period. Cephalopods began to become more diverse and split into many different orders during the Mesozoic Marine Revolution that occurred during, you guessed it, the Mesozoic Era. If you want to learn more about the Mesozoic Marine Revolution and prehistoric octopuses, Click the little grey thing that just appeared on screen. These animals are classed as least concerned by the IUCN, due to no visible massive decline in their numbers, but due to living in the ocean we can't be sure if this conclusion is correct. Sparulas are preyed upon by whales and swordfish, so if there was a sudden large decline in their numbers, we'd most likely be able to see some sort of effect on swordfish and perhaps whale populations as a result. So for now we're pretty sure their populations are stable. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserved it, and if you'd like to see more from us.